Now the news, Nigerian writers have been urged to seize an opportunity to etch their names in gold. The opportunity is made available by the Realness Institute, which is calling for submissions for its latest offering, uh, Episodic Lab. Uh, the series development lab is presented in partnership with Netflix. Uh, the lab will take place remotely from June 1st, uh, 2021 uh, to August 31st, 2021. Uh, the offer is available for writers from Kenya, uh, Nigeria and South Africa with authentic and original stories of all genres. Now, the initiative is only open to writers from the three countries where Netflix is currently focusing its African original strategy, uh, namely Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa. Selected writers will work on developing uh, pitch documents for their uh, story concepts. And joining us to talk about this is a film producer and writer, uh, Mehret uh, Mandavro. Good to have you on Newsday. Uh, Mehret, uh, now, independence of film production has come a long way in Africa. So where are we at the moment and what are the prospects for, uh, fu for the future on the continent? Yeah, I think we're in an exciting place. First of all, thank you for having me. It's lovely to be here. Um, it's an exciting place and an untapped, really, uh, market, if you ask me. Uh, so there's so much talent, and Realness has been working with screenwriters for the past five years now, so we know that. Um, and I think the future is very bright, but it's all about giving these creators opportunities uh, for distribution. Um, and that's really where we're and as an acclaimed producer of Sundance and senior producer at A51 Films, will you be participating in the Realness Institute Episode Lab initiative? Yes, I will be. I will be one of the producers participating in the initiative. Um, I'm usually based in Addis. I'm actually visiting family abroad right now. So I live in Ethiopia, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I will be one of producers work with the writers along with Elias Ribeiro. We also have story consultants and script consultants who will well, be working with the writers. And, and also uh, uh, they will be getting feedback from the Netflix Originals team. Uh, very good, Mehret. Now, uh, from a personal experience, uh, what motivates a writer uh, on story concepts and how is it transformed into what we see on the big screen? I think uh, writers have something to say. And they have a very specific point of view on the world. Um, and in order to translate that, honestly, you're, you need time and space, which is what this um, opportunity is attempting to create, because the writers will get paid a stipend to work on their ideas and um, have the liberty and the time and space to do that. It's, they will be receiving $2,000 a month. Uh, for three months, it's a three-month experience, and at the end of it, they will be able to pitch um, their ideas next. Now, um, the episode lab is open to only three countries. That's Nigeria, South Africa, and um, Kenya. Now, how can prospective writers actually participate? So the cost for submissions is actually out. You will go to, if you go to realness.institute, the application is out. And um, the deadline is the end of January. So all you have to do is fill out the application and, and we will consider. But there's um, 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 a caveat. Um, the writers also have to pay a submission fee. Why is that? Most of the professional development programs um, like Sundance, like Iave, actually char charge a nominal fee, largely because, as you can imagine, there's going to be quite um, uh, thousands of submissions. And in order to process that, we need to, you know, pay reviewers. Okay. Actually, the processing applications have enough bodies to do that without a fee. Okay. Well, Mehret, I'd just like to take you on some other issues now. Uh, some African movies are gaining limelight and, of course, uh, even nominated at major international uh, uh, awards. So what's responsible for this and what's the prospect for the future? Yeah, I don't know that anything has changed. I think we have great stories on the continent and always have. And, um, you know, sometimes the world wakes up a little late is what I say. I think the prospects are very exciting. I think people are hungry from different, for different perspectives and especially for African-centered ones. So I think the future is very bright and you'll see more and more films coming out of Africa that really get the world's attention. All right, now Mered Mandefro, producer and writer. Many thanks for joining us on Newsday.